Greater Manchester Police have been found to have failed to record more than 80,000 crimes in just one year after uh, an investigation by Her Majesty's Inspector of Constabularies. England's second largest police force failed to record one in five offences committed between the 1st of July 2019 and the 30th of June 2020, the equivalent of around 220 crimes a day. Now I'm surprised they haven't blamed it on their multi-million pound cursed new computer system as they seem to blame other things. Inspectors said the findings were deeply troubling. No shit they are. I wonder how many are not being recorded in other forces. Maybe we need a national audit of crimes reported, not recorded, and or closed prematurely across the country. I bet that would be a staggering figure. One in four violent crimes went unreported, including domestic abuse, stalking and harassment, with detectives deciding to close cases without considering victims' wishes in too many circumstances. The finding comes after a row when the force last year admitted that it screened out more than 40% of allegations it did record meaning investigations were ended within 24 hours. At the time, Greater Manchester Police Chief Constable Ian Hopkins admitted that if there was no CCTV or witnesses, when the theft of a bicycle or a shed break-in is reported, the likelihood of an officer turning up is almost non-existent. HMIC inspector Zoe Billingham said in too many of these cases the force did not properly record evidence that the victim supported this decision. She said it was simply not good enough that, despite being urged by the watchdog to improve in 2016, concerns have not been addressed for over four years. HMIC added that in some cases inspectors could not be sure that victims were properly safeguarded and provided with the right service or support. In response, the force, which according to frontline police has been played, oh here it is, here it is, here's the excuse, plagued by problems from the £27 million new computer system blamed disruption from centralising its crime recording processes as well as the challenges posed by the pandemic. I mean, obviously need to find somebody to blame because it's never the fault of the police, is it? In her report, which focuses on the 12 months to June 30th, the Inspector of Constabularies estimates that Greater Manchester Police recorded 77.7% .7 of reported crimes, a drop of 11.3% from 2018. It gives an example of an unnamed pregnant woman who reported to police that an older relative was making threats of violence against her, sounding clearly distressed and fearful. Despite that, it was never recorded as a crime and no investigation was undertaken according to the report. Zoe Billingham said victims of crime are too often being let down by Greater Manchester Police and every other force, let's not forget them. Failure to record crimes potentially prevents victims from receiving the justice and support that they need. She said the force's performance was simply not good enough, but acknowledged it was taking action to address these deficiencies. Ms Billingham said senior leaders in the force are demonstrating their intent to improve the service and there has been a recent marked improvement in the recording of serious sexual offences and rapes, but this now needs to be done across the board. Ah. So this is the learning curve, no doubt something the police are all too familiar with as they are always professing just how they will learn from their mistakes whilst being allowed to get away with them. She warned this situation cannot continue with a further inspection planned in six months with considerable and sustainable improvements expected. Deputy Chief Constable Ian Pilling said he was obviously disappointed by some of the findings in the report, particularly where we have let victims down, but wanted to reassure the public that we treat this matter very seriously. Mr Pilling said the unprecedented and changing challenges posed by the first Covid lockdown had delayed the process by delaying the recruitment and training of staff. He added, I can reassure the public that the issues identified in the report have been treated very seriously and reflected upon and we have a robust plan to implement any outstanding learning and secure the best positive outcomes for victims going forward. But that only accounts for about three months of the whole 12 month period, March to June. What's the excuse for the previous nine months? Mr Pilling also said we have a long term strategic plan in place to address these issues and we are determined to make whatever other short term improvements we need to make and to make them as quickly as possible. The safety and well-being of the public as well as the maintaining their confidence underpins all that the force does. 80,000 
unrecorded crimes from just one police force is incredible. I bet many of the recorded offences weren't even real crimes. They have to stop blaming other people for their piss poor policing and simply admit that they are more interested in crimes that make them look good in the eyes of minority groups or helps with government statistics. I'm genuinely shocked at the number that this report has uncovered. Big thank you to channel supporters, especially these guys. Your support is truly appreciated. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts as I know many of you will. And until next time, stay safe, look after each other, film the police and other officials.